This is a modern bituminous coal mine, mechanized and efficient. In recent years, the coal mining industry has increased the tons per man output to a point that would amaze the pick and shovel miner of yesteryear. As the result, a more efficient means of transporting coal from the face to the main haulage way became necessary. To meet this increasing demand, trackless haulage has been widely adopted. Trackless haulage equipment, sometimes called shuttle cars, are used to transport coal from the face to the loading points along haulage tracks. In this initial coal moving stage, the shuttle car has proved to be efficient, economical, and in some respects, safer than track haulage. But despite these advantages, experience has proven that the job of the shuttle car operator is one of the most hazardous in coal mines. Approximately one out of every seven injuries to transportation employees involve shuttle car operators. Shuttle car accidents are caused by either physical conditions or human failure. Supervisors and operators both must learn to recognize hazardous conditions and work toward their correction before injuries occur, not after someone has been hurt. The fundamentals for safe and efficient shuttle car haulage means equipment that is safely designed and constructed. Safe shuttle car haulage means a well-engineered and executed mining plan to suit natural conditions. Safe shuttle car haulage means a thorough maintenance program. And last but not least, it means well-trained, dependable, qualified, and adequately supervised men at the wheel. Bill Cordick is a safe and capable shuttle car operator. He was selected for this job because he is physically and mentally qualified for the assignment. He is a conscientious worker, alert to potential dangers that increase the hazards of his job, such as this pile of crossbars that he has pointed out to his foreman. He has learned that minor things, even a chunk of coal, or crossbars piled along the haulage road can cause an accident. All shuttle car operators, by the nature of their jobs, are exposed to inherent coal mine hazards not encountered in any other type of work. Yet many become so familiar with their jobs that they fail to keep alert. Because of existing physical hazards and the practice of taking chances, shuttle car operators have paid heavily. The men you are about to see paid with their lives. This is early Monday morning at the Mallory Mine, and the men are getting ready for another day's work. This is Joe Spadler. He is a shuttle car operator with two years of experience on his job. He is young, full of life, and sure nothing will happen to him because he is a conscientious worker and appears to be alert most of the time. Joe is a good operator. He checks his equipment before starting to work, doesn't take chances, 
and has never had an accident. Joe knows these crossbars are low. He has passed under them many times and has always remembered to duck. This is the ventilation crew, about to erect a temporary check curtain to assure adequate airflow at the working faces. Just as in many cases, the foreman selected this place because it is convenient to be installed with minimum work. He did not consider that by placing the check curtain here, he was creating a serious hazard for the shuttle car operator by hiding these dangerous low crossbars. Okay, Joe, you're loaded. Don't forget those low crossbars. Something has been added since your last trip. Watch out. Don't daydream about that fishing trip you have planned. Look out, Joe. Beyond that curtain is a low crossbar. Another case where failure to think about safety cost a life. The foreman was concerned about ventilation and didn't see that he had set a trap for Joe. And Joe, well, he must have been thinking about that fishing trip he had planned. Don't let this happen to you. A man who does not have his mind on his job is a hazard to himself and his fellow workers. 